So we already got that one. Um, that's a skull. Did I not notice that last time? <laughs> that's a freaking skull. H how is there a skull? I, I do not approve of this skull. <laughs> okay. I believe we already got the one in here. That's the raven. Okay. Uh, yeah. Freaking doll just laying there. Seriously, where is this supposed to go? Was there supposed to be like over here? Cause seriously, where am I supposed to go to get this one message? So next one's supposed when we meet up with Joy again, so... Uh, Joy... Over here... So it's supposed to be... Yeah, I think I already got that one. So... Hold on. Oh yeah, I got that one. Cool. Um... That's 2.15. 2.17. There we go. There we go. We got it. I've, uh, Yay! I've had a long career working as a state inspector for the Department of Mental Health. During that time, I've been to a lot of institutions, and I have seen a lot of horrible things. But um, nothing even comes close to the evil events that I witnessed at Fairhaven Sanitarium, the place they now call Lux Eterna. I first arrived in um, 1926 to investigate claims of overcrowding and neglect. However, oh, yeah. Fairhaven's reputation was tainted long before that. In oh, 1911, okay. Fairhaven opened its doors for the first time. So, 15 years? A notoriously violent criminal by the name of Jack Yates was the hospital's first patient. He was to be the, uh, the, the shining example of the hospital's ability to cure the mentally deranged. <laughs> However, when the superintendent's family was visiting one day, Yates broke free from his restraints, and he, uh, he killed the man's wife. Lovely. Since then, no one knows what happened to Yates or the superintendent. Well... That is, until now. <laughs> Superintendent Wallace Halstead greeted me at the door. He seemed as empty and unkempt as the patients he lorded over. <laughs> and uh, as I conducted my evaluation, I couldn't help but notice how nervous he got when I passed by a small broom closet. 
Um... And naturally, I felt it necessary to find out why. When I opened the door, I was hit by the overpowering smell of human excrement. Uh... As the light flickered on overhead, I, I was horrified at what I saw. A withering man lay shackled to the floor in a pile of his own filth. Years of sunless existence had turned his skin, hair, and eyes milky white. He'd been chained yes. there for so long that his, his skin had grown over the shackles. Uh... Um, it took me a moment to realize that the husk of a man was Jack Yates. The police arrived and Dr. Halstead was carted off. Doctors moved Yates from the small room for the first time in 15 years. <laughs> the floor beneath him was permanently stained with the shape of his silhouette. <laughs> they, they tried to remove the shackles from under his skin, but the shock of it all was too much for him. He, uh, he died the next day. Should have plumped him up first. I watched as they walled up his tiny prison, trying to pretend that it never happened. Was that his skull in the vent then? I honestly hope he's in a better place. Although the staff still claims to hear his agonizing wails coming from inside the walls. See, this is why I love ghost stories. <laughs> Oh. Um. So our last one, at least until we can figure out where that eighth one is, the Eternal Flame. Oh, baby. I need gas can ten. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I'm trying to... <laughs> huh? Hold on. got that. Um... I think I got that. Oh! That's where... That's where... Aha! I think I might know where... Where, oh, where, oh, where. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of excited. I, I hope I didn't already get it. If I did, I'm going to be so pissed that I'm going to have to go through everything and try and f figure out which gas canister I missed. <laughs> oh, that would be a bitch. That would be a real bitch. The bitchiest. I forget if I did look and go in there or not. Oh my gosh, I hope I haven't. That way I can get my last gas canister. <laughs> Cause I want it. I want to complete it, damn it. I want to complete it. So bad. Um I need to get to the cemetery. Cemetery. Thankfully it's not in this cemetery. I just I just need to get into the, by the cemetery. At least to try and check it first. Then I'm gonna be running all over the goddamn place and be like, oh my god. Is it this? Is it that? Oh my god, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? Because that's basically what's going through my head. It's just like, oh my god, am I even doing anything right? 
there was a map. Why isn't there a map? I think a map would be like freaking fantastic. Look at this, I can hide in this. <laughs> I think a map would be incredible. You know, just just quick check. Just like, okay, where the hell am I? Oh, that's how I get over there. You know, it'd be really useful, you know? Real useful. Have I been in here yet? No, we haven't! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Hell yeah! I've seen them by story. the side of the road. These unkept, smudged, hopeless people holding cardboard signs. Ooh. Sometimes they have props. Baby stroller, a pet, gasoline can. Something to lend credence to the thin fiction that they need money for something other than booze it was um it was a man with a need gas sign with the red gas can on the ground that i saw when i drove into salem six unlucky years ago today I tried to ignore him not making eye contact but i was stuck at a red light and pretending he wasn't there was getting really awkward so i reached into my pocket and pulled out two dollars rolling down my window just a crack here you go, buddy. I pushed the money through the, the opening of the window. That was when, for the first time, I really looked at his face. And what was left of his face. Oh, that's creepy. There's a single eyeball just looking back at me, bulging out of a charred skull. Ooh. I was absolutely frozen in terror until the blackened shape of uncovered finger bones reached out to take the money. And that's when I let it fall to the ground and slammed on the accelerator. I didn't even care that the light was red. <laughs> in the time since then, I've picked up pieces of the legend. A shell-shocked war veteran, unemployable and alcoholic, became a familiar sight in Salem, begging by the roadside. Citizens stopped giving him money, thinking he would just move on to a bigger city. He responded by creating one of the most traumatic spectacles in town history, setting himself alight in the middle of town during evening rush hour. What the hell? Ever since that roadside encounter, I've been seeing little wisps of flame out of the corner of my eye. Like, brief flashes that are gone as soon as I turn my head, sending nauseated chills through my whole body. <sighs> Is this tormented spirit following me now? Whether he intends it as a blessing or a curse, I just want to be as far as possible from this horrifying specter. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely creepy. Yay! And apparently there's just one more story that's probably at the judge's house. And holy shit, yay! I am so happy. Seriously, I'm like ecstatic. Now I can easily go to the Judgment House, even if I don't have all the ghost girls or all the other collectibles, at least I'm getting in all the ghost stories. Cause you know what? They're banging! They're like, freaking awesome. These ghost stories. They're just awesome. I'll probably get like, right up to it just go in at first and then call it there there's a big thing so yep we're going in and then I'll call it there <laughs> I always heard this place was such an interesting museum back in its heyday now it's just a place propped up by rusty nails and rumors. A place you wouldn't dare your worst enemy to go into. Well, at least you're already dead. Alright, there it is, Judgment House. Yep, and the door's huh. left open. 
Maybe this abandoned place isn't so abandoned after all. Eh, that's a police car. I hate it when I'm right. And the door's left open too. How nice. it closed. What the hell? Alright, it's saving. So, I think this is definitely a good place to stop. So, see you guys later. Um, next time we're gonna be exploring the Judgment House. And possibly figuring out the killer. So, see you guys later. Bye. Rate, comment, subscribe. Makes me happy.